14. What's going on, guys? Uh, Flood Mod 14. Um, uh, yeah, how's it going? Uh, last episode on Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy, we actually had a pretty, uh, kind of hilarious, um, <laughs> duel there versus Chaz. Uh, let's see who's around to duel now. Uh, yeah, which we played like limiter removal, did like a whole slew of damage all at once, so that was pretty cool. Uh, today's episode, we're just gonna... Okay, the main person I'm checking around for is Chaz, but um, I actually made a new deck in between episodes, so we're gonna try it out. You look like you really want a duel. You want to sample my lesson plan? Sure. Okay then, let's take off the kitty gloves. So, to be quite frank, I'm not really sure how this deck's gonna perform. Uh, in fact, the entire episode may be just one duel, or maybe a two-parter, I don't know. It really just depends on, oh my God, okay, we got it, we got it. <laughs> okay guys, so uh, this is the deck I went for this episode. We got really lucky with the draw. But yeah, check this out. Yeah, uh, I would. Remember what I said about making the Exchange of Spirit deck? I thought about doing that, but it's only limited to one. And uh, we, you know, we only have one copy. Um, but as I was building it, I was putting a lot of stall cards in there, and I realized when I went to my spells, yeah, Final Countdown is at three in this game. So let's activate it. Final Countdown, maybe. <laughs> yeah, so I'm sure you guys know Final Countdown. Yeah, like, uh, you basically win in, um, uh, 20 turns, you know, no matter what. Alright, and here's a stall card right here, Frozen Soul, so yeah. Let's set that down, let's activate Messenger of Peace, let's activate all this stuff while there's no, you know, Magic Jammer about. And, uh, we're just gonna set this, and, uh, yeah, let's play Goblin Attack Force in attack mode. And that's the great thing about this deck, is you don't even need to attack. Oh! Oh, the animation. Remember the first roll of dueling? Have fun! Yeah, okay, Teach. I'm having fun. <laughs> we got final countdown, first turn. It must be exciting. Uh, Pot of Greed. Okay. The one thing we gotta watch out for right now is Heavy Storm. So, uh, okay, Teach. Okay, fair play. But I've got a couple traps. So let's reveal... Scapegoat! And we'll play Frozen Soul 2 here, just so she doesn't, uh, get a battle phase, so. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Alright. So Scapegoat will help us, you know, stall a little bit. Unfortunately, we lost Messenger of Peace, but, uh, yeah, Messenger of Peace is also at three in this game, so I put three of those, so that's two turns on Countdown. Hmm, pretty good card, pretty good card. And that's the great thing about this deck. Like, I don't even need to attack, you know? Yep, and we're at three turns already. Okay, I feel pretty good knowing we got Lightning Vortex. Return Goblin Attack Force? That's fine, that's fine. It's perfectly fine. All right, she just got her usual bird face. And, uh, hang, hang. The only thing about this deck is... Huh... I don't really know, you know, as far as the points, the duelist points, like, assuming we win here, Wabaku, great, great. Okay, so let's set, uh, let's set Wabaku, and I'll play Wabaku next turn, and in fact, I'll actually set Goblin Attack Force here. Um, but yeah, I don't really know, as far as the, uh, the DP, like, how's that gonna work with Final Countdown? Yay! Sonic Duck! Yeah! <laughs> Good job, Teach. Alright, she's got a couple winged beasts, so... Alright, so let's play Wabaku here. I mean, the only thing I have to worry about right here is Seven Tools, which she does not have, so... Okay, okay. Nice! And she just ends her turn. Yep, we're down to, like, six or seven turns already. Okay, we got Giant True Nade. Um, I could, uh... The only thing I'm worried about right here is something like Torrential Tribute. Um, let's just keep Goblin Attack Force in attack mode. Yeah, I don't 
don't see any threat of us losing like right away. So we'll end the turn. But if I need to, you know, giant true nade, clear her back row, and then lightning vortex. Good, good, good. She's just gonna she's just gonna defend up. That's that's great for us. Um delinquent duo. Um, no, I, I don't even feel like I need to do anything here, so let's just pass. <laughs> I love the animation. I love the animation with the fireballs. That's great. Okay, and she's not, luckily for us, she's not playing like Snatch Steel or perfect, perfect. We're getting the stall cards. We're getting like, this is the ideal, you know, scenario with this deck. We get final count now first turn. And then, you know, so several stall cards. You know, the only reason I put Goblin Attack Force is because, like, it is a really powerful monster. So, you know, and I guess the AI is pretty cautious in this game because she could clear our scapegoats. Yeah, and then we got uh, Kuragane here to, like, you know, with the combo with scapegoat to revive uh, Goblin Attack Force if something, you know, really crazy happens. So, yeah, we're just going to keep passing. We're on turn uh, 13, 14 now. So, you know, this is ideal. This is ideal. Um, you know, so, yeah, we'll just keep going here. Keep going. Okay, turn 15. Okay, and we got seven tools here. You know what I am going to do? Let's bait the magic jammer. I am going to play lightning vortex just to make sure, you know, nothing crazy happens. Oh, she doesn't have magic jammer. Okay. Well, in that case, I will play... Yeah, like I said, Lightning Vortex. We're just going to do this just to make sure. I mean, because we're so close to uh, the final countdown victory. I don't want anything, you know, really, you know, nutso happening. So, Call of the Haunted, that's fine. That's fine. Sonic Duck is back. Okay, she doesn't have Torrential. Or at least she didn't play Torrential Tribute right there. That's good. So we're just gonna pass. We're just gonna pass. Turn 16. Man, this is going. This is going a lot better than I thought it would, to be honest. Because like, you know, the biggest problem with Final Countdown is like, sometimes you'll draw all the stall card cards in the world, and then you just won't see uh, Final Countdown. You know, or you know, by the time you do see it, your life points are really, really, really low. You know, and like so many turns have passed that you know. Uh, let's set down another Wabaku here, just to, uh, you know. <clears throat> but yeah, this is going great, because, uh, yeah, ultimately I did want to test... I thought this deck would probably be a, a little more, you know, a little more consistent than the Exchange of Spirit. And the, uh, okay, that's fine. And the other big problem with Exchange of Spirit is a lot of people run seven tools in this deck. You know, a lot of the AI, of course. So... Yeah, that's the big problem there, is, uh, yeah, it's just, if you don't see Exchange of Spirits soon enough, uh, and the AI, you know, plays a lot of their cards, you know, like those Shotgun, Magic Jammer, like, for example, her graveyard's all the way to eight. I know, you know, this duel's gone a while, but, you know, yeah, so I figured Final Countdown might be, you know, funnier and, you know, better, and, you know, I'm kind of glad we got it right away here, so we can see, yeah, as far as the DP goes and stuff, should I run it, and there we go, oh, that's awesome, there's an animation, dude, how cool was that, I'm gonna have to check that out in editing, oh, sweet, it's the final countdown, da -da -da. Ooh, ooh, a thousand DP. Hmm. Ah, coolly cool. I'm so impressed. Go out there and keep your. Dude, do we get a thousand each time? Ooh. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let's save that. Let's save to that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But again, I haven't really, really tested this deck. You know, of course, I play all my duels, you know, on screen. So, but, you know, that was pretty much, you know, best case scenario. Um, I, you know, I don't know if we can hope for that every time, but uh, let's just go to sleep here. You know, it's time for the regular week. Another week, another adventure. Yeah. So we should have a duel by mail. Yeah. I think I set up some off screen. Hey, glad you showed up. Yeah, and again, like, I don't know how this is going to do versus, you know, the main cast, like Jaden and stuff. Um, the biggest problem with Jaden is, uh, 
Flame Wingman, and I guess to an extent, Thunder Giant. Like, you know, with just his ability to both do burn damage, you know, and with his fusions clear our stuff. And see, this is the kind of hand I was talking about. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess we got Scapegoat, which is good, but, uh, man, this hand looks a little rough. I mean, the sooner we get final countdown, the better, but I guess I'll set three. And uh, we'll pass, we'll pass. So, this duel's gonna be a little more. Get your game on! Yeah, but a thousand, wow, for the special victory. Hmm, plus the animation's really cool? I don't know, I don't know. We may have to. We may have to. I don't know, I don't know. Cool, it's my favorite card Elements of Hero Flame Wingman. Yeah, this is exactly what I was talking about. Skyscraper. That's not a problem. I mean, I have more of a defensive deck, so... Okay, just Flame Wingman. Yeah! Direct attack! Uh, that's what you think, Jaden. I've got a face down as well. So, let's go ahead and play Scapegoat here. Reveal! Scapegoat! These little guys are gonna uh, take the attacks from me, Jaden. Alright. So, yeah, 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 buddy. Uh, the sooner we can clear Flame, Flame Wingman, the better. The safer I'll feel, you know. Don't have to worry about the burn damage, you know. And, like, what if I had started with Goblin Attack Force first turn? See, this is what I'm talking about. You know, he would have cleared that right away. And then with Skyscraper, yeah, pretty dangerous. Um, I will play Jar of Greed on end phase here just to draw a card. So, <gasps> okay, good, 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 good. Good, good. And he has only one face down, and we have seven tools. All right, Jaden, it's the final countdown. I pay 2,000 points to activate my deck's main win condition. Uh, let's play Upstart Goblin 2. Sure, why not? Uh, that's pretty good to see here early on, honestly. So we'll set Sinister Serpent. Yeah, 300 burn damage per turn. I don't mind taking. Uh, I could play Sword, you might say. But, I mean, really? He has only one monster. I'll wait and, uh, you know, if he gets two monsters on board, then I'll play Swords. Fusion. Okay. Maybe he's really stacking up that Flame Wingman. So, yeah, this I don't mind. This I don't mind. You know, a recurring defender? That's good for us. So... Okay, and he's not summoning other monsters, so, you know, we may be in pretty good shape here. Um, so yeah, let's just keep setting Sinister Serpent. And I'll go with one, uh, you know, anti-battle face card face down. Just one, just one. All right, Jaden, your turn. Uh, does he have anything with piercing damage? You know, <laughs> most of the time we beat Jaden fast enough to where I don't have to wonder these things. But that's the thing about a stall deck is that... Yeah, I mean, 20 turns is, you know, like a long time, so that may give him chances to, you know, like, draw his flip monsters, to draw just, you know, stuff we've never really seen out of Jaden, so, uh, but ultimately, I'm liking this, you know, only one monster, uh, yeah, that's, uh, okay, this may not be so bad, ooh, ooh, yes, 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 okay. Maybe I should add a uh, Magic Jammer to this deck, huh? Yeah. Sinister Serpent come back. Uh, let's see what it'll do about this. I activate Messenger of Peace, Jaden. Now you can't attack if your monster has more than 1,500 attack points. Alright, we'll end the turn there, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is going a lot better than I expected, guys, to be quite frank. But, uh, hey, heart of the cards, heart of the cards, that still applies. Okay, that scares me a little bit, a little bit. Maybe he'll draw into Heavy Storm or something? I'm gonna summon Elemental Hero Bubble Man! Yeah, that's... yeah. At least you don't get the, the draw two effect. Oh, I guess you can attack with Bubble Man, but, you know, that's, that's fine. Again, he's only attacking with one monster. Not much to worry about, not much to worry about. No more face downs? Okay, good, Jaden, good. Oh, I love the animation every turn. That is so cool. Ah, oh, we got giant Trunade. Okay, yes, I'll pay the 100 life points. Oh, that's so awesome. No, don't chain. Yes. 
Okay. I'm really glad we got Sinister Serpent when we did. That seems to be helping us quite a bit. Okay. All right, Jay. Go ahead. Go ahead, buddy. All right, this is going... Again, just like the duel with Fonda, we got Final Countdown really early, so... Okay. Yeah, he's gonna keep attacking with Bubble Man. That's fine. That's fine. The only other monsters I put in here besides, like, Sinister Serpent, Goblin Attack Force, and, uh... Yeah, I put, like, uh, because I've got two giant rat. So I put those in here, just to thin out the deck, and, uh, three Nimomomonga. So, and, oh, well, and I guess I did play Morphing Jar, because, you know, that's just a little too good. Um, yeah, because ultimately we do want to see Final Countdown. Now, at this juncture, I mean, things are going, you know, pretty much perfectly, so I don't really want to give Jaden a chance by playing Morphing Jar to get, like, you know, more fusion material or, uh, you know, like a heavy storm or something, so we're not going to use Morphing Jar, you know, in case, unless, you know, things drastically change, which they might. Jaden's got, like, four cards in hand, so, you know. The main thing I have to watch here is the button prompts for uh, Messenger of Peace and uh, Sinister Serpent. Make sure I don't miss them. So, but so far I'm liking the stick. So far so good. So far so good. Mask of Darkness. Yeah, there are a lot of traps. Yes, I'll pay. And then no, don't chain. Yes, I'll take this. So there are a lot of traps, as you can see in my deck, that uh, both skip the battle phase and let us draw cards. So that's why Mask of Darkness is here. I put that at three in the deck, because I have stuff like Frozen Soul, I've got Thunder of Ruler, Wabaku, Negate Attack, you know. Just a lot of, uh, you know, skip your battle phase traps, so. Because, I mean, ultimately, that's what Final Countdown decks are about. You know, you just want to find Final Countdown as soon as possible, and then, uh, it, yeah, stop them from attacking. So, yeah, we'll take back Jar of Greed, because why not, you know? But, uh, yeah. So, that's the deck. That's basically, you guys have basically seen most of the deck, and uh, if you haven't seen it, it's, you know, stuff that I've mentioned, so, you know. Alright, turn 14. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, whoops. I missed the prompt for Messenger of Peace. See, that's what I was talking about. That's what I was talking about. Uh, that's my bad. Um, uh, you know, one thing I could do, though, since I missed the prompt, <laughs> I could steal Flame Wingman. Uh, you know what? Let's try it. I'm sure he's got a magic jammer, but, you know. Uh, let's steal Flame Wing, man. Oh, my God. Dude. <laughs> and he already powered it up, too. Okay. And, like, here's the thing. You might say, like, oh, man, that's really powerful. You should attack with it. No, 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 no. Uh, you know, we don't want to run, run into Magic Cylinder or anything that could really, you know, give him a chance. So, I just wanted to, you know, take it for a test drive. And really, his life points don't matter. Our win condition is uh, Final Countdown. So, you know, if he blows it up, if he destroys his own Flame Wingman, I don't care, you know. Because, ultimately, we're just trying to win through Final Countdown. Okay, Monster Reincarnation, that's fine. For Sinatrix? Okay. Go ahead, Jaden. Go ahead. Nope. And yeah, he's defending. Perfect. We got him in the same position as Fonda Fontaine. He doesn't even want to attack Scapegoat. That's like... Mwah. Best case scenario. Best case scenario. So, so far, I'm kind of liking, you know, how this is going. Oh yeah, and I got he got this in here too because you know, I mean, you see how many turn wings stalled out? Like if he got this goes off, that's a that's a four for one right now on the spells and traps. You know, assuming I didn't have any face down myself. So, I mean, that's you know, yeah. And we've got plenty of earths in here. You know, that's yeah. That's why we've got he got this. So. And, you know, the AI has Snatch Steel, too, so we want to make sure they don't steal our, you know, Goblin Attack Force or, you know, stuff like that, so. 
All right, and if Jaden's not really doing much, I mean, he's setting monsters, setting cards. But that's not, he's, and it's really weird. I thought to myself, like, when making this deck, like, yeah, won't playing uh, Final Countdown, just activating it, won't that make the AI really, 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 really aggressive? I mean, you would think so, but uh, it doesn't look like it does, which is good for us. So, there you go. Premail card, card destruction. Okay. He may get something good here, I don't know. you got Jay just setting okay well we win guys we win again by final countdown so yeah pretty interesting pretty interesting oh wait wait that wasn't it oh oh I'm paying attention to the turn count over there okay but that's not exactly when we activated final countdown okay okay Jaden you've got a couple more turns I'm surprised he doesn't have a seven tools back there that's really surprising. Um, I guess just to make sure nothing crazy happens, we'll play uh, Messenger of Peace since we withdrew it. Wow, no match jammer either. Uh, that's... Yeah, uh, okay, well, we'll just end the turn, Jaden. Go ahead, buddy. And I actually have to discard for hand size here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's get rid of uh, Mask of Darkness, sure. Okay. All right, Jaden, we're getting close. Life points, gain your life points. Oh, and just to be a complete troll, what's really funny? Ah, oh, man eater bug. He finally drew an out. Okay, okay. Nice, nice, Jaden. Uh, but just to be a complete troll, wing Karibo. Yeah, I actually put a uh, 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 self destruct button of all things in this deck. <laughs> you know, just to be that guy, you know, in case things are looking real dire. Yeah, we play that. Uh, let's go with Threatening Roar here, just to make sure he doesn't, you know, clear out scapegoats. Uh, yeah, and Jaden does have Spear Dragon, which I hadn't considered that, but that is kind of a problem. So, but, doesn't matter, guys. Here we go. We see the animation again. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh that's awesome. It's the final guys just like that just like that wow well i am glad to see this is a positive sign that they're you know a thousand dp for uh, victory conditions now i don't know if it's that way across the board for all victory conditions but that does encourage me as far as building some future decks like you know exodia etc so okay okay yeah so that's good um what time are we at by the way okay I doubt we'll have time for one more, but uh, we'll just go ahead and get this duel started. And yeah, 1,000 DP per duel? Honestly, that is pretty good. That is like, pretty good, you know, yeah. Because even with uh, the times two bonus, <coughs> like some duels we only get uh, like, even with times two, we'll get like 800 DPs, you know, sometimes, so. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and start another duel here and uh, versus Cyrus. And we'll probably have to continue it in the next episode. Yeah, get your game on, get your game on. Ah, yeah, I guess like the only downside is like I'm not getting as many duels in per episode. So yeah, yeah I don't know how I feel about that. Um, but you know, this is just kind of... I just thought this would be fun, you know what I mean? So, I figured, yeah, why not? Let's just try this, uh... Oh, we got some good cards here. Uh, okay, we got Negate Attack. Well, I do want to look for Final Countdown as soon as possible, so let's Rota. <clears throat> okay, and then, yeah, I've got a couple of these in here, too. For the Goblins and Exile Force. Okay, let's, uh... Graceful Charity. discard I'm gonna discard my whole hand anyway so let's discard goblin and what else should I discard Kuragane no I can revive you with Kuragane let's discard negate attack yeah let's discard negate attack okay and I also have card destruction hmm 
lot. I kind of don't want to... Hmm. We'll just set five. We'll just set five. Morphine jar. Peas. I got to make sure I don't miss the prompt this time. And yeah, we'll set five. Okay. All right. You're up, Sai. All right, Sai, don't you, don't you? Yeah, and that is the good part about Morphine Jar and Stick. It's like, if you draw it, you're almost guaranteed to win. I guess Dekoichi can get under peace, so good for you, Sai, good for you. But thanks for the five cards, bro. Go, Morphin Jar! This split monster has a very special ability. Now we both discard all the cards in our hands and draw a new hand of five cards. Alright, I don't think I drew Final Countdown. Also, now we have to worry about him potentially having Magic Jammer. <gasps> he didn't set any cards! Okay. Okay, okay. Um, let's pay attention to the prompt. Will you pay the maintenance? Actually... No, I won't. We just drew Elite Attack Force, and we can clear out his monsters. Um, also, let's play Jar of Creed. Wow, I can't believe he didn't play any back row. Um, well, this can get us a Sinister Serpent. Okay, let's play this. And I guess it does thin out the deck, too. So, Sinister Serpent, where art thou? There you are. Okay. Okay. Okay, we got card destruction. Um, yeah, let's just go with the lead attack force. The only reason I got rid of peace there is because we've got a couple star stall cards in our hands, so I'm not really too worried. Uh, let's just set Wabaku. And uh, I guess we'll try to keep Cyrus off of as many monsters as possible. Hmm, should I play card destruction here? Hmm. You know what? I will. I will. Our winning condition's final countdown. We need to find it. Yeah. Hmm. Still didn't find it. Man. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll play Rhoda to clear out the deck some more. Nah, don't change. Uh, with this one, we'll take Exile Force. Yeah. Should I play Duo 2? Sure, why not? We've already ripped like 10 cards out of his hand. Let's take out a few more. Alright. I wonder what all's in his graveyard at this point. Oh! Ooh! 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 Good to see Torrential and, uh, yeah, Pot of Greed, all that. And, uh, wow, we got rid of his Graceful Charity too. Ooh, card destruction? Okay, okay. Alright, alright. We got rid of some really good stuff. All right, let's just clear out Deco. Nah, don't play anything. All right. Oh man, can't believe you destroyed my locomotive so easily. Yeah. Um, I could actually attack again with Spiritual Earth Art, but I won't. There are better targets we can use for that to revive a Goblin Attack Force, so. All right, Sai, go ahead. Go ahead, buddy. Okay. Heavy storm. Jeez, bro. Okay. Um, let's change some stuff. Uh, well, at least we know heavy storm's done. So let's play this. Wabaku. Make sure our monsters aren't destroyed this turn. And you know what? He's gonna destroy it anyway. So let's play Spiritual Earth Art. Kurogane. So yeah, I'll tribute this to revive Goblin Attack Force, because why not? Yeah. Alright, well, we don't have to worry about Heavy Storm anymore. Okay. That's a pretty good draw for him, though. So, okay, that's everything. Okay, okay, looking good, looking good. We can grab Sinister Serpent now. Uh, yeah. Okay, we've got some stall cards. we got some stuff. Um... Should I just Exile Force that away? Nah, we'll save Exile Force for a, uh, you know, just in a pinch, you know, so. All right, Giant Rat, you're up. Go! Scratch Call! Ah, I called your bluff. It was just Boko. Nice. And 
he is wide open here, so, you know, and we haven't drawn final countdown, so we may go for a more, you know, traditional victory on this one, so, eh, which is good, you know, that's the point of having some of these monsters in my deck, so, we're winning a duel. Alright, so far I'm having fun with this deck, though. We may try it for, like, you know, a couple episodes, and then, you know, we'll go back to the machine deck or something else, so. Definitely glad I decided to build this deck, though. Seven tools, okay. Should I... wait? Hmm. Yeah, that's just tech. I ain't afraid. <laughs> what are you gonna do, mirror force me for one? I don't care, bro. Yeah, yeah. Just another Boko. Called your bluff, side. Alright, and we'll set a Sinister Serpent, as well as our seven tools. That way I don't have to be worried about his traps, so... And he already played Heavy Storm, so, you know... <laughs> you know, don't have to worry about that, so let's end the turn. Alright, Sai, what you got? He's only down to two cards in hand. Uh-huh, uh -huh. more back row. Okay, that's it, that's it, okay. All right, Sai. Jar of Greed, good. Okay, so let's play Goblin to attack mode. Can I win this turn? Uh, 14 will get him down to 35. I actually can if I attack with everything. So, Sinister Serpent, you're up. Okay. Uh, I'm expecting some kind of trap hole or something. Dude, this guy doesn't have anything. All right. Go, Sinister Serpent. Snake bite attack. Uh, hmm. Boy, I really hope his other face down isn't his seven tools. Otherwise, I really screwed myself here. Mirror force, huh? Ah! Oh, okay, side, you got me. You got me, buddy. You got me on that one, big time. Oof. Ooh, man, this is gonna hurt. So he's gonna take out all four of my monsters. Oh man, I got really greedy there. But I mean, can you blame me? He didn't play that face down at all the last couple turns, so. All right, Sai. Dang, that really hurt. But uh, it's okay, it's okay. 